With the rapid development of science, taking brain nootropics is becoming a new standard nowadays. But which are the best brain nootropics you can currently find on the market? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. The world is getting extremely competitive and to stay in the game, people are trying everything to beat everyone else. They search for ways to perform a bit better, to work a bit longer and to be a bit more productive. Now, the higher you are on the ladder, the more you're trying to beat the system, to be better, you know, and to outperform everyone else around you. Because once you get up there, you want to stay up there. And while there's no limitless pill available right now, at least we don't know about it. And even though if it was available, I don't think that would be a long-term solution. Many people start taking brain nootropics. So in this video, we're gonna shortly talk about what brain nootropics can do for your performance, which are the best brain nootropics you can currently find on the market. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite brain nootropic supplement. So if you're ready, let's begin. So one of the questions I often get is, what can brain nootropics actually do? So how can they actually improve my performance? Well, you know, they can do many things for you. First of all, they can enhance your focus and attention. They can improve your memory. They can make you more productive. They can increase your speed of thinking, remove brain fog and decrease your anxiety and stress. Some brain nootropics uh, can slow down your cognitive decline and others provide anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. So as you can see, brain nootropics can do a hell lot for your brain. Now, some of them provide benefits in a matter of minutes after you take them, and some of them need weeks or even months to provide the benefits. So you really have to know the difference. You really have to know which nootropics can do what um, after you define your goals you wanna achieve with, of course, taking brain nootropics. Because if you take the wrong brain nootropics, um, you know, you can expect the wrong results or and you know your expectations might totally differ from what you actually get from them. So after years of researching nootropics, today I'm gonna share with you the best brain nootropics that are considered very effective, very safe and are well tolerated by people. So let's begin. The first nootropic I want to talk about is called Lion's Mane Mushroom. Now I often talk about this amazing mushroom which is native to South America, to Europe and to certain parts of Asia because it provides so many amazing benefits for your brain. It has been shown to improve your mental functions, it can slow down your neurodegeneration, it can increase NGF, which is nerve growth factor, it can support our immune system and it also contains cancer-fighting properties. So as you can see, there are a lot of benefits of this uh, interesting mushroom. In my opinion, Lance Mane Mushroom is one of the most essential brain supplements and brain nootropics you should take or you can take for a longer period. It is considered totally safe, non-toxic, especially if you follow the recommended daily dosage, which is somewhere between 500 milligrams to one gram per day. And you can take this up to three times per day. Another brain nootropic I want to talk about is Rhodiola rosea. This is an adaptogen herb one of my favorite ones that has been used for centuries for its many positive effects and benefits that this herb provides. So it's a great cognitive enhancer. Uh, it can decrease your stress levels. It can decrease your anxiety and improve your overall cognition. Now, the interesting thing about Rhodiola rosea is that it's involved in multiple physiological functions and that's what makes it so effective. And if you follow the guidelines and the recommended daily dosage, there should be no side effects. Now the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 50 to 100 milligrams per day, especially if you take it for longer periods. Another adaptogen herb I wanna talk about is Bacopa monieri. Now Rhodiola Reset and Bacopa monieri both are very similar herbs, they can be taken as individual compounds, but they can be combined together to provide multiple benefits and even stronger benefits, I believe. Um, and I've been taking Bacopa Monari for quite some time. This is, has been used for centuries uh, from scholars to um, you know, improve their cognitive performance. And as well as Rhodiola Rosea, Bacopa can also decrease your stress, also decrease your anxiety, and 
um, enhance your cognitive functions. Macapa is not only effective for healthy people, but also for people who have Alzheimer's disease, for example, or other types of dementia. So it can, so studies show that it can uh, improve your memory as well and slow down cognitive decline. It has been studied and compared to a very popular smart drug modafinil and another nootropic ginseng and it has been shown that Bacaba Monera is the most effective out of the three. The recommended daily dosage is around 2 to 300 milligrams per day and it is considered safe. But of course I do recommend consulting your doctor not just before taking Bacaba Monera but any other nootropics and tropic supplements that you're gonna take just to stay on the safe side. Ceticolin is another brain supplement, brain nootropic, one of the best on the market uh, because it is found in brain cells and in every other cell of your body. So even though it sounds like a something you know synthetic, it's actually a very natural thing that is found in your body already. So ceticolin plays an important role in memory production. It increases levels of dopamine and acetylcholine. It can improve our mood and it can improve our vision. It can slow down cell aging. It enhances brain circulation. And of course, it can improve our focus, our attention and concentration. Ceticolin is very effective as an individual compound, but I do recommend uh, combining it with other nootropics for better effect. The recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 250 to milligrams to one gram per day. Personally, I would take it around 250 to 300 milligrams per day, especially if I would take it for longer periods, which I personally recommend. And since we talked about ceticolin, we have to mention alpha-GPC. And alpha-GPC is another nootropic compound, another amazing a choline uh, source, which is similar to ceticolin, works very similarly. Uh, personally, I'm a bigger fan of ceticolin, but alpha-GPC uh, shows similar effects, similar benefits. So sometimes people combine both of them, but most often they just choose one of the two, um, which, you know, whichever they prefer or whichever they find in their favorite nootropic supplement. Also, alpha-G is considered safe, especially if you take it somewhere between 300 to 600 milligrams per day, which is somehow the recommended daily dosage. But of course, avoid it if you take any anticholinergic drugs. So again, do consult your doctor before supplementing it. Ginseng, we already mentioned it before when we compared it to Bacopa Moneri. This is another adaptogenic herb, an amazing one, very popular, especially Panax ginseng and the American ginseng. Both of them are often found in many uh, natural supplements on the market. And the cool thing about ginseng is that it has clinically proven benefits on improving cognitive uh, function. You know, keep in mind that ginseng is an herb that has been used for centuries for improving memory, improving cognition, uh, attention, and so on, and also for decreasing stress. So um, there's a lot of history and there's a lot of science behind it. The recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 200 to 400 milligrams per day, and it is becoming more and more popular. Um, now, if you take it as individual compound, which I've tried many times, it's great if you combine it, do be a little bit careful, you know, check out all the other ingredients. For example, I didn't have such great experience when combining it with caffeine. Um, some people love it, but you know, just something to keep in mind. Huperzin A is actually a very popular plant, uh, which is extracted from a Chinese club moss. Um, and it is a very effective nootropic that has been shown to increase brain circulation. But keep in mind that this one requires cycling. So you can take it for a couple of days and you should stay a couple of days off and so on. Um, we don't have the exact uh, recommended dosage yet and we don't know how the cycling should work for optimal results. But most experts, uh, including myself, recommend you know taking it for a couple of weeks, then staying a couple of weeks off you know, and, and repeat this cycle just to avoid any kind of dependency. But apart from that, Huperzin A is very effective for slowing uh, down Alzheimer's disease and raising acetylcholine levels. Most experts recommend supplementing it somewhere between uh, 30 to 100 micrograms per day. By the way guys, I have revealed seven special secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get them, download my free handbook below. Okay, let's talk about Alcar Acetyl L-Carnitin, a very interesting amino acid, very popular among uh, fitness experts, uh, among people who go up into gym because uh, it's been proven to be very effective for improving uh, physical performance. But recent studies shows that it can also improve mental performance such as memory, focus, attention, and so on. 
You can also find uh, Alcar in energy boosting supplements because it has been shown that it can uh, improve or increase your uh, energy as well. Uh, but it's not like a very effective anotropic for that. It's good to add it on, but it's not like if you take Alcar and bam, your energy will skyrocket. That's not gonna happen, don't expect that. And the recommended daily dosage of Alcar is up to two grams per day, so quite a lot. And usually people uh, supplement as an individual compound, which they added to their favorite nootropic uh, supplement. L-theanine, let's talk about my favorite amino acid, which is found in green tea. Uh, this is a great compound to take and combine with caffeine because caffeine will give you the energy boost and L-theanine will make sure this energy will stay with you for a couple of hours at least without any issues, drowsiness and that kind of stuff. Plus, L-theanine increases your focus and attention it makes you more relaxed, so it's great to get the boost, have the energy, but be hyper focused, you know, hyper, have this hyper attention basically for hours and hours without any issues, without having a fast heartbeat and so on. The recommended daily dosage of l theanine is around 200 milligrams per day, especially if you combine it with 100 milligrams of caffeine, you can expect amazing results. By the way guys, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Use a hashtag AskYourInception and I will weekly answer some of the most interesting questions that I will receive. And the last three on our list are Ginkgo Biloba, which is a popular nootropic supplement that has been used for improving memory for quite some time. Now Ginkgo has been shown um, that it's maybe not as effective for improving memory as it seems, but it is a great adaptogen herb for decreasing your anxiety, decreasing your stress. It's, you know, it's not no issue if you add it to your favorite nootropic supplement, but I guess the highest quality supplements won't really contain it because, you know, Ginkgo really isn't as effective as many other nootropics on our list. Okay, then we have magnesium. Magnesium is a dietary supplement, um, a dietary mineral basically that has many roles, over 600 functions in our body and you need it because um, because of all those functions that it plays. The issue is that many people are magnesium deficient nowadays and not many people know about that. Now, how do you recognize deficiency? Insomnia, you might have sleep related issues, you might have brain fog, you might be tired and you might struggle with uh, focus. So if this happens to you, there's a chance that you lack magnesium. So magnesium should be added or I recommend adding it to your favorite entropic supplement. It's difficult to get it already in a supplement because um, you know, many companies basically add the most effective uh, nootropics first and then, you know, when it comes to vitamins and minerals, some of them they add it or you can just buy it separately. Now, the recommended daily dosage is around 300 milligrams uh, per day for women and around 400 milligrams per day for men. And last but not least is phosphatidylserine or PS, what, what is, you know, just easier to pronounce. And this is a protein that is found in membrane of many of our cells in our body. It's a great nootropic for boosting memory, focus, attention and other cognitive functions. Supplementing PS can also induce this feeling of happiness uh, by the way it works uh, and that's why it is often added to nootropics um, because you know it can influence your mood and I also found a study which shows that supplementing BS can improve ADHD um, so it's really an effective um, nootropic that I personally would like to see in many high quality nootropic supplements it is considered safe but again consult your doctor before supplementing it uh, the recommend daily dosage is around 100 milligrams per day which you can take up to three times. All right, guys, so we covered the best, the most effective, my favorite brain nootropics that you can currently find in the market. There's a long list, I know, but don't worry. Um, if you wanna start taking brain nootropics, which I personally would do and I do on a daily basis, then there are two things you can do. You can buy them separately or you can just you know choose the one that you like the most, go in the store, there are some links below, you'll find it um, and buy them. Or what I recommend is taking and buying a high quality nootropic supplement that contains most of those nootropic compounds uh, together combined in the right dosages that you know they work together, they get the benefits, but they don't interact, that would harm you. Um, so which is my favorite brain nootropic supplement? So we have a very long list of all the nootropic supplements that we tried, we tested through our special testing procedure. And because we are constantly updating this list, 
um, I provide a link below where you're gonna find the best nootropic supplement for brain right now available on the market. Now keep in mind, I am updating this list all the time. Whenever I come across a better nootropic supplement, if there is any like that coming on the market, I'll edit the list, um, you know, maybe change the order. You know, I don't wanna promote any supplements here right now, uh, but I want you to be able to always check the best list and always have the best nootropic supplement for brain at your home. So check out the links below and you're gonna find the best brain supplements. Uh, you might even get special discounts for some of them. All right guys, that's it about this amazing topic, interesting topic. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget subscribing guys. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.